everyone. Hey, Dorothy, Joan. Front row. <laughs> How are you do doing this morning? Is weather good over there in the UK? Your flowers must be up. It must be so nice. I still have snow on the ground here, so won't be seeing any kind of <laughs> flowers coming up for a good month. Hey, Eileen. So I thought I'd do a pan pastel today with, I'll probably uh, throw some mixed media in on it too. <laughs> I can't help myself. Dull gray cold. So it's a kind of a wet cold spring this year for you. Hey, Lena. Oh, stop, Eileen. <laughs> I don't want to hear it. Oh. Hi, Elaine. Oh, really? Well, at least you're, you don't have snow. <laughs> and you're getting enough wet for the stuff to come up. You don't have to worry about grout, that's for sure. I don't think you guys have ever had to worry about grout, have you? Oh, snowdrops, crocuses, daffodils, and hellebores. Oh, I love that. I'm jealous. <laughs> oh, nothing's here. Nothing. Not even a pussy willow. <laughs> And they're the first things that start. Hi, Nana. Hi, Joy. Ian, hi. Good to see you all. Everything is always green here due to... So. Yeah. Well, being a gardener, I would say I would put up with the rain. <laughs> Just to get some of the flowers you guys can grow. Oh, I would so love to be able to grow those huge rhododendrons and azaleas and all those gorgeous magnolia trees you have and your roses. Oh, like we can grow some roses here, but nothing like what you guys have. Hey, Janet. I'd be in heaven. Ah, I'd either be in my garden or visiting someone else's. <laughs> I wouldn't be home in the house at all. But I'd have a huge umbrella and <laughs> a lunch. And I'd be gone. Hey, Gail. I'm ready for spring. You only... Have to have so far, but the rat just hung a new awesome. Well, daffodils are better than nothing, Janet. Believe me. <laughs> so, get a few more people in, and then we'll start on this um, mixed media pan pastel. I'm going spring, a spring fairy. See, she's still sleeping. <laughs> Still not quite awake. Oh, you saw some uh, robins. No, we haven't seen any. Although I did hear the um, cardinals and some um, house finch yesterday. So that's a good sign. They're starting to sing their song. Because usually the winters here are very quiet. The only thing you might hear is an owl or hawks. <laughs> I 
And I think all of us are ready for spring this year. Although, you know, it hasn't been a really bad winter. But I always appreciate spring when it comes. Hi, Colleen, Kim. I'm very, very happy. I think it's probably my favorite month, spring and half of the summer. As soon as um, the end of July comes around, me, I'm kind of tired of the heat. I don't like the heat because then you can't go out and garden. <laughs> hey, Sharon. So I got this picture from a Dover book, that, an old one that I had. And it's got the CDs with it, so you can put them in your computer and then print them out any size you want. Well, these are all royally free. I love the Art Nouveau style. It was my favorite, even when I had my stained glass store. I did a lot of Art Nouveau windows for people. It was a big seller. Just the um, the style of it is a very big seller. So this is where I got this one from. They've got some really interesting ones of ladies, and it's very botanical. So I thought I would do that. These are really good books. They probably still have them. I don't know if they still have the CD-ROM with them. And I've got all kinds of um, pattern books for stained glass and Art Nouveau, too, that I could do. So we could probably do... Um... Oh, darn. We could probably do a picture of uh, a stained glass window but made out of scrapbook paper or um, jelly prints. There's an idea. Because <laughs> a lot of the jelly prints are kind of have that look of stained glass. Um, yeah, so Reference material, look at stained glass. There's some really neat books out there if you're interested in that type of a look. Um, where's that other book? I'll show you another book that I had. If I can find it. I know I had it out. A minute. It's, it's paperwork. upstairs but it they use paper so it kind of looks like a stained glass window it's really neat oh this book there's a couple of them out there and they're fairly inexpensive there's all kinds of um there's victorian there's edwardian there's just plain clip clip art They're, they're a great book. I really like them. Um, just looking at everybody. Yeah, Stouffer's got a website. You can order right from them. Uh, I don't know. If, a matter of fact, if you subscribe, they have a free download of, I think it's five images per week or something like that at least they used to I don't know if they still do um, but yeah you can order straight from their website or you can order them on Amazon oh is it one a day Janet yeah I knew it was something like that 
I think you can pick what you want too. Isn't there a great big page of them? And you get to pick what which ones you want to download. Oh, uh, really, Eileen? Oh. Isn't there a like a category somewhere that says Art Nouveau or stuff like that? Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah, I don't like it when they start doing that. You get another email and, and just give it to them and then you can just empty it with stuff you don't want so they don't flood your mailbox. All right, so this is the, I don't remember what number it was, but I've already um, traced it out. So this is just uh, the last sheet of uh, watercolor. It's the fluid watercolor hot pressed. And we're going to, not sure exactly, but I was thinking of adding some, I have still a bunch of, of this stuff. I could put it right on top. That yeah, might be a little hard to see though. But I thought we could uh, play with it. I've been meaning to do that for a while. <laughs> So I have my watercolor or watercolor pan pastels here. And these are the colors I use. Let me fix my camera a bit. Actually, I'll put this over here. And move this. There. All right. Are you guys seeing um, this backwards by any chance? Like with the pencil, is that my right or left hand to you? watercolor right okay it's just me then it's just on my monitor showing the opposite I'll have to change that for me later uh, watercolor so, um, hot pressed Eileen so She's going to have fair skin. So we're going to put some um, color in her face first, I think. And I'm going to do the shading parts first. So you can go about this in different ways. Um, I like to put the shade first and then... Um, mix it with the medium color, I guess you could say. So I like to stick to a, um, a brown or a sienna color that's got a little bit of, of, uh, of a warm shade. So this, hmm, I think I'll probably start off with this one here. 
And this one is Burnt Sienna Shade. So you don't need much. And I've got a little, just a little bit on my sponge. And she's got a, quite a bit of shade under her chin. Now, remember, you can always erase this too with your eraser. That's the nice thing about um, having this. Let's see, that'll be her face in there. And then I'm going to probably use colored pencils just to finish it up. So we'll start with hmm, probably this shade here. Start with Then I'll go to the light. A little bit of white. Uh, let's see what this one is. Titanium white. Have a bit of a shadow around her nose and in the corner of her eye, be a little bit darker. And your nose. Paper towel, clean my that off when I need to. Wait. And let's see, it'll be a little darker in here. It's underneath her hair. I won't do a lot with pan pastels in here because it's tricky. Okay. You just have to make time, Janet. Just make some time for yourself. You can do it. Let's see. Pants, uh, markers. Just seeing where my erasers are. I think I might have left them all upstairs. You know. Yeah. 
clean this off a bit. Brush. Now, I, I'm thinking of having this uh, probably a clematis. And we'll probably do it in purple. Now, our hair, may as well do our hair. Is dark, so I'm going to do it in the really dark, uh, raw umber dark. Then we'll finish up with colored pencil. So I'm just putting a base on. So you still want to go in the direction that the hair would be falling. Because it does leave um, a line. So how many of you have um, some kind of pastel in your arsenal. <laughs> I know Janet does. Yeah, you got the makeup pellets. Yeah, you can use any kind of pastels to do this because we're going to put a pencil over top. Um, that's what this handsome guy's done with. Pencil and pan pastels. And a little bit of marker, actually. The highlights are done in marker. Yeah, you can use soft pastels too, and you just um, grind them on a surface and, and use a sponge to pick it up. Eileen, you need to use them. Come on. You can do it. 
that would be cool in the stuff that you do. The vintage stuff, that would be neat. All right, where did I put that picture? Oh, missed, missed a bit of the drawing here. She, her, her hair is here. So this is just to get a base for your work. Okay. Put this over there for now. I'm going to move you guys across so I can put this out. That tilted too much. All right, let's see. And you can also mix colors. You don't have to just be limited to one color. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do Nice dark at the top. I already got a hole in my turn it around.
You don't want to brush down or up, not across, because of the green of the flower. It kind of looks like blue in the monitor. How's it looking for you guys? Can't see you, but hi. Looks blue, but it's really pretty. <laughs> Looks blue. That's, 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 oh, I hate that when the true color doesn't show. Let me see. Hmm. Have to be the chroma. Thing is, when I play with chroma, sometimes it screws around with the quality of the picture. No, well, it's not going to make any difference, anyways. Oh, well, I guess you're just going to have to look at it as blue. <laughs> Sucky! Oh, well, it's purple. It's a nice, deep <laughs> um, plum purple. A little darker in here. dips there.
I'm just I'm just doing the um, areas that would be the darkest here. I think there's a hole there. So let's do clean that. No multitasking dot. <laughs> Would be a little bad darker here. There's a another ripple. This one.
All right. Um, I'm going to run upstairs and get my eraser. All right. Not too worried about the background because I'm going to be putting, um, where's that mono one? Hmm. Too much stuff. Hmm. Where the heck did I put my stuff? Eraser. Bear with me. I'm here somewhere. A tiny, tiny eraser. These racers are great for when you're doing hair because they can take out such a small swipe. Hey, Joycey. Okay, so now I need to do a bit of green in there. Like that. 
got some back. clean off my thing. And we're going to do, this is a nice uh, yellowy green. Well, that's part of the, I missed a part of the flower. Missed a spot. So this is just the base again. I missed the spot here in my drawing. So after I do this, I'm going to spray it and then we can use color pencils. You can also do this with watercolor. So you could do the watercolor first and then you use the Pam Pastels on top of the watercolor. And it gives it a nice uh, effect. Or you can also use watercolor with, pan with um, pencil crayons. All right, I think that's it. Well, actually, I could. Well, I'll just finish that with another thing. I'll get my colored pencil though, or spray it first, actually. So I got Spectre Fix. It's not coming out right. Have a dirty nozzle. It does come out 
um, fairly not too bad. I don't mind it. And it doesn't smell. Let's pull that dry. Yes, Raven, you're unfortunately not allowed to be on an adult channel. It's uh, not my rules, it's YouTube rules. So you're going to have to leave, honey. Thanks, Pacola. Still needs another coat. I'm going to put the other stuff on. I don't like the spray on that.
Start off with her face, I think. And uh, what's this one? Light umber. Uh, that might work. All right. So I'm just going to lightly. Just ever so lightly. See, I hold it fairly far from the, and you just I go around I go around in circles, um, a lot of times, and then I just turn my pencil. It may not look like I'm doing a lot. <laughs> But it is going on there. This is when I get quiet. <laughs> Sorry. How's that nostril? It's not going to fit there. Because she's got her head tilted up, there's a not as much um, shadowing underneath her nose like there typically is. Um, but you, her lip, yeah, you will see a little more down here because her lip sticks out. And let's see what we use to this one. Colors blender. Gin 
Ranger. Oh, I got a rotten pencil. I'll just blend it in with ginger. Yeah, I did. Down the nose. Any questions? Yeah, I sealed it. It's just, you don't have to seal it if you don't want to, but I find it's easier you don't smudge everything then. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of this mauve around her nose area. Because if you look, if you really pay attention to skin tones, there is different colors. Usually there it's a mauvey shade. Uh, around your nose especially and your lips. Put some under the chin too just because it'll be casting a shadow from the leaves of the clematis. Then... Uh, these are Prismas, mostly. Oh, this is another rotten one. Mm. I like it. Old Prismas, and yeah, I know why. <laughs> And a bit of a darker. There. Sure. 
should. Then white. And your cheeks. Just above her lip. Don't go crazy with the white. And down her nose. And a little bit of red, kind of a burgundy. Instead of doing this, your, um, let's see. Instead of doing where the mouth, the lips meet, a lot of people tend to put that with blacker. Um, ah! get a new look at that look how uneven that is hence why it doesn't The little, little subtle details do make a big difference. Um, you know, some people, because they're so small, they don't, sometimes they won't be bothered. <laughs> they do make a difference. To make that a little bit deeper yet. And yeah, when I use pencil crayons, I use for the color, not I don't use all one brand. It's the colors I'm looking for.
is that burgundy pencil for the mouth and yeah it was just it's a nicer color to put in especially around the um the mouth or corners of the eyes Um, here, I'll show you this picture here. You'll probably see it a little more, what I did. See the nose? How oh, there's purple in here, around the edges, and around the eyes. And the lip also has some purple. Just gives it a little more of a realistic um, look. Kind of a, a plum grayish is the best way to go. Um, give her a little bit darker lip. Um, Put a little more pink in it, I guess. Under here. Bit of a highlight there. And dark. A little bit in there too. And a few eyebrows right there. Right, now let's do some hair. So the majority of it is done, the background. So you can darken the um areas that curve in or under and highlight the tops of the curls
make some straggly ones on the end. Always looks nice. Like really get dark if it's close to something or really in the shadows. Um, don't do individual hairs. Do a, a clump is the best way of doing hair. Um, if you want a really, really detailed. Let's see, I need a really dark. Now this is black, but I don't use like a horribly amount. <laughs> you just want to give indication of, of where the strokes are. Um, you have deep, deep sections that like the in-between of the hairs, I guess you could say. It's kind of just a back and forth where they overlap. You can state that. By a few. I don't know if you can see that. Probably won't be able to see a lot of it till it's done. Once I start putting in the um, highlights, then you'll see it better. So under the chin, dark. And the bottom of the curl be dark. And here.
Yeah. So there's the dark parts. So now we'll do some highlights. Now, because it's mostly covered, you can use white if you want, or um, a light blue is also really nice. I'll show you. Another, these are real bad. So you still have to go in the direction that the that piece of hair is is falling. You can put some stragglers on too. It just adds a little bit of. Now I could put white on top of that if I wanted to, if I wanted some really high. I'd almost have to get pen. I have done that. It looks cool. This part I forgot. This is part of her hair. All right, then I will do the flower now. Purples. See a nice deep. This will do.
we'll just do a few lines. I'm not going to go too crazy with the line. It's just a bit of line work. Dark purple, purple. Hello. Sure, I am quiet, guys. <laughs> this this is the problem with drawing online. You have to concentrate. And when I'm concentrating, I'm not talking. <laughs> Sorry.
So if you're watching on the recording, <laughs> put some music on. <laughs> There's not much to tell. Um, I, I'm just doing the shadowed areas right now. So black and deep purples, that type of thing. Yeah. Inside this part, this is like the inside of the leaf or petal. So it would be fairly dark. So I'm going to darken this area here. Just bring it out to where it folds. So it gets fairly dark along the face there and around the hair. Add a little bit of black to that, make it just a bit darker, right on, in the very corner there. Just around the nose. You have to be careful. You can change the nose shape very easily. So this kind of um, has another bit of a lip turning over the leaf or the petal edge. Let's see. bringing some of these lines down again. Make them staggered in um, shape. Don't have to put like a straight through all the way line. On that um, thing, it shows you where the lines are. If you want to follow it. See how they get thicker and thinner? Gives it depth then where the bumps are in the petal.
There's that other purple. All right. How's everyone doing? It does take a while to do these, and I must admit. Not a long, long time, though. Like, if you were to do this all in pencil, you'd be here for hours. So that is one good thing about it. Yeah, Gail, it does. It, it cuts the time down and it um, does add to your piece, I think. I'm going to put that other pencil. I think it was this one. 
Hmm. I don't know what darker. This one? No. Adding a little bit of a darker purple in here just so that I can get a little bit more of a definition of her lip. Thanks, Joan. I love doing this I could spend hours though I, I get this is fun to me um, doing the details I <laughs> I could get doing this for hours and hours you kind of get in a trance at least I do. Probably not that fun for you guys, but at least you get to see the process <laughs> of uh, what I do. And you can watch. At least I think, well, I if I watch someone do this type of work, I like to see it in real time because I can figure out what's going on. Um, what do you guys think? Would you rather this in a fast stream? Like, you know, the videos where they go fast? Or do you like... Eileen. <laughs> yeah, it you picking on Eileen now? Is it rubbing off? She's rubbing off on you. <laughs> Getting some of her own medicine there. Where did I put that one pencil? Gotta be in here. Is that it?
complete. And some white. Oh, I didn't do any. Let's call, uh, this one. Fix that area. Okay. And now some green. And then I'll be done for almost done, guys. <laughs> there. Need a olive green.
actually a yellow. Green, green, green. Yeah, I need some brighter green, I think. Yeah, that's better. Uh, it's not showing on camera though. That just, that just shows yellow. It's not green and yellow and
Yeah, yeah, I'll post it on uh, Instagram and Twitter. So if you're if you're bored stiff, you could leave. I won't be mad. <laughs> or if you got, I don't even know what time is. It? Oh, it's not too bad. I just heard the dogs upstairs jump down off of the bed. Hey, Devin. <laughs> I appreciate you all being here, believe me. I like to share what I do and to inspire you guys to try new things. You never know what you're going to fall into <laughs> with art you may like I know for the longest time I didn't um didn't touch watercolor I just I didn't get it I didn't understand how to use it so I shied away from it but I love it now so don't give up on something that you've tried just put it away for a little bit and then come back to it it's amazing what uh, in time you do more things you get accustomed to doing certain crafts or art and then you pick it up again and you find out you love it Oh, great. Elaine, awesome. Makes me happy to hear that. Because they're, you know, they're not messy. As long as you spray them before you start doing any kind of um, pencil work on them. That's the only thing I would recommend is make sure you spray them if you're going to do this type of thing. Because then you don't have to worry about putting your hand in it. And A little bit of shine here and there.
here. Let's put a little bit of these. I got these markers. And they're there's permanent and they're meant for rock painting, but they have a really fine nib on them. The black one works great. And you got six of them for 12 bucks. On Amazon. I think you can get them in different colors too. You have to prime it, of course. I was using Spectrafix or Pan Pastels. I swear the pastels were still coming off a bit. So sometimes, depending on how much you use, sometimes you do need quite a few coats. It doesn't surprise me. A little bit on her nose. Maybe chin a little bit. here. I don't like it too definite. That's why I kind of touch it. Have a little bit of a shine on it. How much? There. I think I could fix that just a bit. This is awesome. This here needs to be there better thanks guys I'll post it on um, Twitter and I guess we'll have to wait and put other stuff on it do you want me to just finish it up um off stream or do you want me to wait and do it on stream thanks everyone on stream okay so maybe this weekend i'll Pop on, finish it up.
Thanks, Janet. Thanks, everybody. Let's see it on stream. Okay, I'll do it on stream then. So probably this weekend sometime. I'm not sure. Evening or daytime. Depends who's on and when. All right, so I got to go. I got to go feed my dogs, go to the post office, and then I'll be back. Lena, are you still here? Yeah, okay, um, Lena, four o'clock. Is that okay? Four o'clock Eastern, my time. I'll send you a link. Because I have to go to the post office first. All right. Well, you guys have a good evening, and we'll see you somewhere on the internet. <laughs> Bye for now.